too. So today I want to talk about living well and thriving when you have a chronic condition or a chronic illness. Um, and this is something really important to me because I've shared in the past, I have some, I've been diagnosed with some chronic illnesses and something that I've noticed is a lot of you have chronic illnesses or chronic conditions as well. So um, a lot of the women that I have worked with and networked with either locally here in Seattle, some of the women that I have networked with and worked with on, on, on our online community, Instagram, Facebook, uh, perhaps you sign up for my weekly email where I talk about um, balance and freedom and self-care. Some of the feedback that I get quite a bit is these chronic conditions and they could be from any number of things. It could be from past trauma that we have experienced and we are still dealing with the repercussions uh, and the effects of that trauma. It could be some chronic conditions that you have because of your current uh, stress load. So you're stressed out to the max, which is causing all kinds of other side effects. Um, migraines is one that I hear a lot gut issues, stomach issues, IBD, uh, is uh, GI issues is another one that I hear a lot. And so it's really important for me to come on today to talk about how do we thrive? How do we live well when we have these conditions that we are dealing with that sometimes feels like a battle day in and day out? How do we live well? How do we live well when we have these conditions? So if this is your first time meeting me before I jump in, I just want to say hello. Thanks so much for stopping by and pressing play. Uh, my name is Rita Johnson. I'm a certified life coach and Reiki practitioner. I work with busy women and moms that want to heal the past and want to move forward from some of the trauma, from some of the things that they have experienced. And I also help those women and moms create life on their terms and move forward. So one of the reasons that I can speak so well on this is, as I mentioned, I have the same thing. I go through the same things. I've been diagnosed with a plethora of things, which really was the start to me understanding how our life experiences, how trauma, how some of the things that we go to or that we go through, how stress affects us and how it shows up in the body and how it creates these chronic conditions. Hey, hey. So the first thing that I want to touch on whenever we have a chronic condition, whenever we have a chronic illness, one of the first things that we can do to live well, to manage it, to thrive is managing our boundaries, managing our boundaries, knowing our limits, knowing when to say no and know that it's okay to say no. And I want to touch on this one in particular because I know um, that this is what I see. I see a couple of things. I see that often when we have a chronic condition that we are managing, we may not look ill on the outside. And so those around us may forget what exactly what it is that we deal with. So some of the things that I see in the clients that I work with is resentment towards others that may forget about the condition and then turning that resentment on yourself because why do I have this? Why do I have to deal with this? Why can't I be well? So I just wanna encourage you to manage your boundaries and know when to say no and know what your limits are and that it's okay to have these boundaries set up and these boundaries are actually what's going to help you thrive and what's going to help you create the environment that you need to work on whatever it is that you may need to work on. The second thing that I wanna to touch on is honesty honesty whenever we have conditions whenever we have something that we are chronically dealing with it's important to be honest and I really encourage you to be honest be honest with where you are right now you are where you are until you are not and that's one of my absolute favorite quotes but what I say when what do I mean when I say be honest oftentimes whether you have a chronic condition or not hey Brittany hey girl hey what I see is we hold ourselves to the same standard day in and day out. We expect that 100% today looks exactly the same as 100% yesterday, which was exactly the same as 100% a month ago and a year ago. And to be quite honest, 
it's just not truthful. It's not truthful and it's also not realistic, especially if you have a chronic health condition. You have to be honest with where you are and you have to be honest with setting these boundaries and knowing that my 100% today will look different than my 100% tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow I'm at 50%, but that is my 100%. So drop a one in the comment. Let me know if you're picking up what I'm putting down. Let me know if you, if you get what I say when I say be honest about where you are today and not hold yourself to the same standard and the same accountability as where you were at a different point. We're constantly changing and shifting our experiences today. We got brand new information coming in today that we didn't have yesterday. We didn't have it. So we get to make new choices today that we weren't able to make yesterday. Honesty, 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 it's important. And the last thing that I wanna to touch on my friend, if you have a chronic illness, if you have, it doesn't even have to be an illness, but if you have something chronic that you are dealing with in your life, some sort of chronic condition, I highly, highly, highly encourage you to drop the guilt. Drop the guilt. As I said, you are where you are. So being guilty about where you are, again, it creates all sorts of stuff in the body that I'm not even gonna go into because that's for a whole different video and a whole different day. But these things affect our bodies internally, they affect us mentally, they affect how we show up. So when we are able to drop the guilt and just know this is something that is going on in my life, this is something that I am dealing with, this is my current condition, this is my current illness, maybe you don't even wanna own the illness and I can totally appreciate and relate to that. But dropping the guilt, it just is what it is, okay? So those are my three biggest tips that I wanted to share today on living well, thriving, if you have a chronic condition, whether it's something new, something that you've dealt with for a while, whether it's from trauma, uh, stress, work environment, home environment, it does not matter. I'm just reiterate, manage your boundaries, watch your boundaries, be solid on your boundaries, be honest about where you are, and drop the guilt about where you are and what it is that you're dealing with. So that is it for today, my friend. I hope that that helped you. If it did, uh, I encourage you and you're ready to um, step into your best life. You're ready to work through some of these conditions. You're ready to get some forward movement. You're ready to put a solid plan of action in place for 2018. I encourage you head over to offers dot uh, dot com. I have my Black Friday end of year special. Get on my coaching calendar. Get on my coaching calendar. Let's work one on one to create a solid action plan for you to move forward regardless of what your conditions are, whether they're chronic or not, especially if you're feeling stressed. And while you're there, a part of the end of year promo is that you can download um, over 100 affirmations. So these are some of my favorite affirmations that have helped me set boundaries, that have helped me be honest about where it is that I'm going and where it is that I want to go, and that have helped me drop the guilt. So there's over 100 uh, affirmations, mantras that you can download, as well as a guided meditation for you on overcoming obstacles. So again, you can catch that over at offers.ritajohnston.com. But until then, just remember, boundaries, honesty, drop the guilt, my friend. You are where you are, and where you are is exactly where you need to be.